It's time to block and load, everyone, because today Brittany is sharing her thoughts on the sandbox building and first-person shooter, Block and Load. What the block you gonna do? This episode is brought to you by GameDeus, the god of artistic motion gaming. Hi everybody, today we would normally be doing real talk, but things have kind of changed a little bit, and instead, we're gonna talk about games! And today we're gonna talk about Block and Load. Block and Load is a build and destroy game that is a mix between Minecraft and Loadout. I know those sound totally unrelated, but trust me, these guys have actually done it. You're a team of five battling another team of five. Each team has to build up blocks and traps to defend their base. Then once the fight starts, you make your way over to the other team's base and destroy it. And of course you're battling and killing each other while you're at it. When I first jumped into the game, it was really confusing, but I think I just made it hard on myself because I didn't remember any of the controls. <gasps> oh, I wish I had had that! They did give you a quick control rundown in the beginning, but if you're impatient and skip through the intros, you'd be a little lost. There's a hotbar at the bottom to show you each of your buildables, but there's no place to show you how or to which weapons that you're switching. Sadly enough, after dying just a few times, I gave in and had to ask the team what the controls were. But once I found out that I had weapons and not just a digging tool, I actually killed two people. Bon Jovi, die Bon Jovi, die Bon Jovi! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah! What is this? Help! Ooh. Ah. I think that the learning curve for me was rather slow, but like I said, once I knew what the controls were, it was pretty easy to catch on to at least the killing side. It has a standard WASD keys for moving around and 1 through 6 for switching between blocks, but it was hard to find the weapon switching and I had no idea that there was even a special ability. I'm really used to PvP because that's normal for games, but the building is what really threw me off. Just gonna build stuff like I do in Minecraft. I know that the concept isn't difficult, but I think it's going to take me some practice to get used to what techniques are going to be good for building. I also really enjoyed the graphics. They're on the fun side, but they're very detailed. I think the graphics are what make me compare it to Loadout, that and the blowing people up thing. Overall, my first experience wasn't that fun, but I do feel like this is a game that I want to give another shot. Because with some practice and knowing what to do, I might actually like it, and I might get more than two kills. I'm gonna rate this game 5 out of 10 bombs for now, but that could always go up when I finally don't suck at it. If you guys have access to the beta, let me know, and you could have me on your team, if you don't mind telling me the controls. Fine mess you got me into. If there's any other games that you guys want my thoughts on, go ahead and leave a comment of that down below. Believe it or not, I do read the comments, and I would really appreciate your input. If you're interested in seeing the full gameplay, you can check it out on my channel, Brits Games. The link is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep on gaming. I'll see you next week. Bye! Hey guys, Brit here. Today we're going to be doing Block and Load Beta. I think it's kind of like a building and war game. I haven't actually played it at all yet. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.